some people might actually even think that I'm boring, per if, like my personality, just because I'm like way too chill. You know, there was a group called Silk. Um, they had a song called Freak Me. Freak me baby. This is like OG stuff. You don't know about it. Hello? All right, it's up first five. I have to be in Joburg by nine o'clock. I'm excited today because we got ourselves an exclusive inside with the Channel O crew. Channel O will be having an interview with one of the greatest artists in the world, one of the most influential person across Africa, you know? I'm excited to meet this amazing artist. Uh, he inspired a lot of us, including myself, uh, from Ekasi to our television screen. I was walking around the apartment complex in Aduk trying to get together the hottest look that I could ever come up with worthy enough of being the set day music video because if you know KO you know that he's a fashion icon and I had to show up and show out a lot of people were asking me am I nervous no I've been preparing for this my whole life. And it was time to go. Oh, for the first time, I'm early. It's quarter to nine, and I was supposed to be here by, by nine. And so I'm with Rory, the one and only Rory. Ah, bruh, love this, these. And we're going to the location where the interview will be held. <laughs> What is your most iconic haircut that you've ever gotten here? Uh, it might have to be the when I was still bleaching my hair. I remember he asked me to draw like hot, you know. So would yeah. you say that that inspired <laughs> Thank you. That inspired Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to grow everything. He comes up with something new, everything. I think I'm just settling in my role, man. Um, as long as I can give you something classic, it should be able to work with any season that I might be going through or even the music itself. So I, I enjoy looking back and looking at certain things and be like, wow, so this was this phase, you know? Um, but I think from here on, having been through so many phases, I think I just want to keep it classic. I want a hair, hyping myself up for the KO interview. And this is me later on in the day struggling to pour him water from the devil. Do you think that your life would be weird in I just always had like this burning fire inside of me that just told me that I had something to offer to the world. I mean, cool, I always wanted to make music and I believed it might actually come be unveiled through music. Um, but even if it didn't happen through music, I just always felt like there was this something really special that was instilled in me, you know, by the powers that be. I'm happy that it played out this way because music is my first love. I feel a man, 
Mañana carico timo marame. You being the one, my love. Your latest banger set there, which is Kabo Fresco. The thought process behind it and how it came about. So, yeah, set was something that just came naturally. Found the beat, was sent to me, and then I started laying down my verse. I was just thinking, who could I possibly get as a feature? And then uh, the idea came for us to reach out to Stana, who obviously is an I'm a piano wizard, but like, you know, the guys were confident enough to say he would still, you know, be able to adapt to this sound. So I reached out to him, just asking for a chorus, and then he sent a chorus and a verse. I wasn't complaining, so like, okay, cool. The young man is, is killing it. And then uh, he came to the studio, because uh, he sent me his demo, cool, and then I asked him to come to the studio so we can just like fine tune it. And then, you know, pleasant guy to work with. I asked him to do some things in the intro, I asked him to do the bridge, um, just allowing just him to just really, uh, you know, own that entire moment because I just felt like with so much talent that he possesses, there is so much versatility that people still need to hear from him outside of my piano. And I'm glad that, that I was able to allowed that to shine through and he, he obviously killed it. And then on top of that, I go, maybe just let me do something crazy. Let's turn this into a massive collab. We shot to Blackie, we put out Sete. It's a song that doesn't even have a challenge at all. And it became the biggest thing. So there's no formula these days. Just do what naturally comes to you and uh, just be authentic. <laughs> Cool. 25 years ago, I was young. That's my age. Earliest Channel O memory, I remember seeing, yeah, TKZ, seeing BOP, Brothers of Peace, Oskido, and all those people. Glenn Lewis had some crazy house songs that were going viral back then. And I think I saw a lot of that stuff on Channel O. Remember your first song that played on the channel and the first song that I that had my face in it that I saw on channel was Tear Gas, a song called Chance. For me, it was just uncomfortable and cringe seeing myself on camera. I was still getting used to the idea of digesting my performance in front of the camera. So I became comfortable um, as years went by. Birthday message to Channel O, keep shining the light on urban culture. Continue being the beacon of hope for young people. I am one of the seeds of this platform, but you're also a key player in the continent. So keep doing that for the greater good of all creatives across the continent. All right, we are done with the interview, and right now we're just going to eat. Done with the sushi. What I loved the most about KO is how humble he is for a person who has achieved all he has. Unlike me, who told the whole world, yes, even strangers and people that I just met, that I know KO on a personal level, there is nobody that has not seen these pictures. <laughs> that I basically forced my colleagues to praise me because unlike KO, humility is something that I am still working on. Doing amazing, amazing. <laughs>